All right, everybody. Hey, we are back for your double barrel shotgun approach <laughs> to content from our uh, our credit Neo, our credit Morpheus, I should say, Mr. Merrill Chandler. And this time around, he's going to share, you know, how to use some of the insider banking secrets to your investment advice. And this is a guy, I don't want to say he's James Bond. Maybe he's a bit of a double agent. He's going <laughs> to FICO world. He's picking the brains of the heads of different credit bureaus to find out the different secrets and he is going to share some of those with you today. And uh, just again, once again, Merrill, thanks for coming on and doing double duty here at Note Camp for us. Buckle up. Here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody. Welcome. And, and first of all, thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Scott, always. Um, uh, Note Camp is always a blast. But now we, uh, we've we had the first, this our first opportunity to really take, um, to, to split it up. Yesterday, for those of you who are at my presentation, can I get show of hands? Which, uh, how many of you, please, everybody, anybody who was at my presentation yesterday, please raise your hand just so I can see what kind of overlap we have, right? And so we need to be able to cover. Please show me, raise your hands, keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. All right. Wow. Okay. Now, most of them, most of the folks on here were on yesterday. That's yeah, good. Yeah. So, so this is, this is really good, you guys. Um, at my presentation on business credit, we were talking about uh, we we spent the time focusing on the, the there are credit a uh, business credit posers. If you did not get to see it, for those few of you who didn't get to see it, watch the recordings because there are business creditors, liars, cheaters, and thieves. There, the definition of business credit is totally scattywampus. You need to watch that if you haven't. Some of you even expressed um, in DMs that you're watching it again, just because there's so much uh, valuable and powerful information there. So please take advantage of Scott's ability to keep you guys uh, dialed in with the recordings of this. Um, the, the great insider secret the th that we talked about three insider secrets, the great insider secret that we're going to be discussing in greater depth today is that business bank credit cards, loans, and lines of credit rely on your personal credit fundability, your personal credit profile. And those are the secrets we're going to be discussing today. Just remember, since 2008, there is no such thing as a non-personally guaranteed bank credit card, bank credit lines, and bank loans and lines of credit. One of the things we learned yesterday also was that those that there are people who sell, hey, get get a get a credit line attached to your EIN, but not your SSN. And how every one of us they're manipulating our impressions because every one of us say, oh, I want. Uh, I want a credit line because we're thinking bank credit lines. They're thinking a Uline account or a Granger account or a, a fleet gas card. Go watch that presentation so you understand why your personal credit profile is actually the key that unlocks business funding. I will say that again. Your personal credit profile is the key that unlocks your business credit funding. All right. So again, one of the things that we, uh, we are going to be talking today, how your personal profile is going to get you access to previously unavailable top tier bank, unsecured credit cards, business lines, and loans without, without collateral tax returns or financials. All of that is on deck. All right. So now let's go to, uh, let's uh, share my screen and go to our entire, uh -huh. here we go. Oh, hang on. And three, two, whoa, hang on. Share screen, stop share. I've got to share the sound. There we go. I'm like, all right. Name. Your haircut looks sharp. There we go. Here we go. So we're going to be talking about access, no collateral, no tax returns, no financials. Now, one of the things we need to uh, understand, and you guys really have this in top of mind, is as real estate investors, you face three powerful, big challenges. We at Get Fundable help you overcome these 
um, these challenges because there are significant credit myths and lies that you've been told that want to keep you away from the money and expanding the business the way you want. We're going to learn you can either be prey or you can be partners with lenders, prey or partners. All right. Now, after the, over 25 years and three sessions, going into a third session, the results of living in this financial matrix that we live in is that most, most of us, most real estate investors and business entrepreneurs don't know why their businesses aren't fundable. We discussed some of that yesterday. Watch that, watch the recording. You do not know what the lender priorities are or how to get approved, right? And Many of us, most of us believe you need full documentation at collateral, financials, assets, tax returns in order to get approved. If you don't, you got to go to hard money lenders and private money lenders. Most of us don't believe that you have that you actually have control over your fundings and you're going to, I'm going to show you today. You are going to learn today. You have 100% control over your approvals, 100%. And it's not hard. And you've also been lied to about how credit works and we're being manipulated into wasting money in how to, you how, how to build our credit, both personal and business. Building your credit is unnecessary if you know what the lenders are looking for. All of that and more is what we're up to, uh, up to today. Now, I'm committed to helping every single one of you know that there is a truth that you can put a stake in the ground and know exactly that you're on the same page that lenders are on. And no manipulations, no no shenanigans are being are, are being foisted upon you, right? I want you to be able to do more deals and keep more money in your pocket. Now, our goal today is for every single one of us to see that there is a clear path for you to get inexpensive bank loans, credit cards, and business lines of credit, regardless of the current state of your credit profile, both personal and business. We're here for, uh, we're here to do that, all of that today. All right. Now, two things we have to understand. There are two unstoppable forces at work. And think of them as tsunamis, tidal waves. You will either ride these waves or you will be crushed by them. We have no control. These are vast national economic uh, uh, forces that we have to contend with. The first is that lenders only make money when they lend, that their highest form of income is to make money off of interest, right? Swipe fees, et cetera, are all, are all counted in there, okay? So our, our end game is lenders make the most money when they lend. And part of that unstoppable force is that Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citigroup, and J.P. Morgan Chase, the top four, what are called tier one lenders, continue to post multi-billion dollar profits annually. Here's what's interesting. When, when they get profits, here, insider secret, um, Wells, the, what you see on your screen are all tier one lenders. These uh, what what when 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 lenders get profits they get to do two things with those profits one they can distribute earnings to shareholders the other thing they can do is put them in reserve and lend against those reserves 10 to 1 for every billion dollars that they have in reserve they get to lend 10 billion for every billion they get to lend 10 billion. And so those reserves and the shareholders get to vote on, yeah, we want more profits. What's interesting is why aren't you getting approved for unsecured bank loans and lines of credit if there's so much money available, right? Well, number one, you've been lied to about how to get approved. And we're going to take a deep dive into many of these lives in just a minute right? We have to leverage this tsunami. Now, 
Because you've been lied to, it's easy for you to be taken care of. Here are the facts. One, you're either prey to lenders or their partner. It means the difference between a five to $20,000 credit card at 20 to 26% interest or a fifty to hundred thousand dollar loan or line of credit at prime plus 0.75, 75 basis points. The difference is having the education on how to become a partner. Tell me, you guys, uh, type in the chat or raise your hand. Tell me you understand what I'm saying. There's prey and partner, and the amount of money they're willing to give you at what interest rate is what determines whether you're being taken advantage of or they want to partner with you over the long term. Does everybody with me? David says yes. RJ says yes. Uh, Diametric says yes. Edna, Stephen, Blaine, Carolyn, yes. So what are you? Look at your wallet. You'll know exactly how you're being treated by lenders. So to be to leave being prey and becoming a partner requires very few skills. It's not hard. You just got to know. Uh, I'm reminded of the story. An entire manufacturing process breaks down, right? It, all of a sudden, the, the good, uh, all the, the conveyor belts just shut down. And so they call, the, they call the mechanic. This little guy comes walking in. And in 15 minutes, he fixes the entire, the entire manufacturing uh, uh, conveyor belt system. And, and then he's given a, a, a bill for $18,000. And they're like, you spent 15 minutes. Why an $18,000 bill? And he said, well, it's because I know what bolt came loose and had to be fixed. One little tiny thing is what creates the opportunity for massive change, you guys. And what we're going to be doing today is we're talking about the one bolt. There's a small series of steps that if we align ourselves, then instead of being um, out in the, the, the prey category, when you don't meet the best approval guidelines, when you exhibit borrow behaviors that don't make you trustworthy, but look like a consumer, your, your approval amounts are lower and your interest is four to five times higher because... And this is why there's such animosity between you and borrowers and lenders, because we know we're being taken advantage of. We're like, what the hell? Why is this happening to me? Right. But it's because our our uh, our data that we talked about yesterday, the data represents performance data and they're measuring us, which we'll get into in a moment. So in a stressed economy, tighter guidelines, what worked uh, when when the economy shrinks, or excuse me, when the economy gets in trouble and the lending guidelines shrink, we go from out here, we're now off the target. In a stressed economy, you're the first one to stop getting approved and, and your limits might get lowered or accounts might be closed, okay? So what worked in prosperous times do not, never have worked during financially stressful time. So what do we have to do to become a partner to lenders? As, as, as Passe did, we have to become fundable. And we need to go from this. When you learn how to be fundable, you go from this to this. You see what I'm saying, guys? We go from being out to uh, high interest, low uh, low um, uh, uh, approval amounts to the extremely high approval amounts at low interest. And it's even more flexible. Write a check, do a deal, all right? This is called getting fundable, fundability, the ability to be funded by lenders. So in, our, in, in the new framework that we're looking at today, there is no such thing as good credit, bad credit, guys. doesn't exist. You're either fundable or not fundable. Everybody with me? Tell me you guys are getting this. Tell me you guys are getting this. Anybody, anybody with me? Fundable, good credit, bad credit does not exist in the real world, does not exist 
in a lender world. It's are you fundable or not fundable? Excellent. We got Edna and Stephen and T and RJ, Carolyn, David, right? Okay. So David, we'll cover that in a moment. Why does everybody talk about good credit? Because the fuzzier, the fuzzier, the definitions the more we're distracted by credit score. Whoa, we will get to that in just a moment, okay? So when you get fundable and you meet lender guidelines, you become the lender's ideal customer. How many of you want the funding results that come with being a perfect borrower? How many of you would like to be the ideal bank customer? Anybody, raise your hand. Anybody, yeses. How many of us want to literally be on the inside track with lenders that regardless, look at that, look at that target, regardless of how big or small the funding target is, you're a bullseye borrower, right? You are on point. You fit their guidelines. So that way you get the best approvals in any economy. No matter how big the funding target is, guys, you're still getting approved. And the way, to, the way to surf this unstoppable economic force is to get the education to learn how to meet these guidelines so that you can get more approvals and higher approvals. Lenders have gobs of money to give to someone but only someone that they trust. And all you have to do is know how to qualify, which we're going to continue discussing this morning. Now let's go to unstoppable force number two. The next force is technology. Okay. Give me a hand raise. Tell me yes, no. Otherwise, how many of you hate full doc loans? Type yes. Do you hate full doc loans. You got to come up with the financials and the tax returns and everything. There we go. We got a zillion of you commenting. Edna and Ravel and RJ, uh, Stephen. Excellent. Guess what? Here's the inside secret. Lenders hate full doc loans more than you do. They're expensive and they're unreliable. Do you know who was uh, the, the second factor that nobody talked about in 2008 with the crash. You know who was the next greatest sector with massive, massive losses? Manually underwritten SBA and business loans, small business loans. Massive, ma they tanked. And so in 2008, in 2008, they de they decided FICO was already uh, pushing this curve. Lender, uh, the, the the big four, Chase, Bank of America, City, and and uh, Wells, all of them said we don't trust the paperwork. They got butchered in 2008 in 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 business loans. We don't trust the paperwork. What do we trust? Everybody's moving to automatic underwriting, automatic approval. So what is that, you ask? This is the unstoppable technological force. Raise your hand. I, 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 uh, raise your hand if in the last few years you filed an application online or in person and you were approved or denied within 30 seconds. Just raise your hand. I won't call out names if you don't want somebody knowing you got approved for 20,000. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That is automatic underwriting. No human being had the time to look and evaluate. There's no paperwork to look at. They are calling data. They're hitting six, at least six, not just the credit bureaus. They're hitting six databases. They're looking at your borrower behaviors and they're coming back with a yes or a no. All right. Now, of the uh, how raise your hand if in the last few years you received a letter or an email notifying that the lender gave you a limit increase i'm going to we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 do i hear 10 do i hear 10 do i hear 10 9 okay so no inquiry no income verification, no request for financials, no income tax returns, you guys. It's exactly what I said on the first slide that may have sounded too good to be true. How? No 
tax returns, no financials, no Aunt Mabel, nothing. Free, they gave you a notification giving you free money. That is what we call an automatic limit increase. How many of you would like to receive that very notice on business credit cards and business lines of credit, raising your limits to a hundred grand. Give me a yes. Type yes if you're getting it. Type, get, raise your hand. How many of you would like to have a business line of credit that does exactly what your personal credit cards have already done? All day, Ravel. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. You guys, we just gotta know how. So here's what, we discovered the key that unlocks the business funding and it's your personal profile. Now, how? Because of my unique circumstances, I was invited to FICO World. Think of FICO World as the Mount Olympus of the credit and funding approval gods. Now, while I was there, I met FICO CEO, Will Lansing. And after a powerful conversation about how we help borrowers become fundable, he introduced me to his FICO teams who build the software that is the very component of getting you high dollar approvals. Those, made, those meetings gave me and now you access, insider access to underwriting criteria. That's why Scott is saying, Scott's known this for years. That's why Scott's calling me the, a, a double agent. I go to FICO world. I sit with lenders who are talking about how to protect their money, what borrower behaviors are being measured, and what the criteria are, and then I bring that home to you. And I'm going to expose one of the biggest lies about credit scores because this is so powerful, okay? Coming back from that incredible opportunity, we built our step-by-step -step process so that you can fit those exact lender guidelines. Remember, yesterday it was about business credit and all the BS that's going on over there, but we learned that it requires your personal profile. So now we know what those exact lender guidelines are. And voila, this process works for every real estate and business entrepreneur who implements it to over and over. I told you guys yesterday, two point four million dollars in me implementing this process me and my company 2.4 million dollars in these very types of credit approvals so we my team and i devoted our lives to creating that blueprint so our tribe could learn how to be highly fundable and these incredible approvals and rates these are the ones that become as a result of being a partner to lenders a partner, not their prey. And I, I'm doing it so you don't have to go through the pain of all the denials that I had. Go watch yesterday's presentation. I give my entire story of how, what happened to me. It was, it was crazy. So one of my, uh, one of my biggest and earliest wins was our client, Teresa. She happened to be a note buyer guys. And she went out and was able to prove this model perfectly. Check it out. I did what uh, you you said to do. Um, just a couple of things, and my score went up 30 points right away. And so within six months, my score went up over 100, and I was already in the 700. So I am my score is nearly perfect now. Um, and they all line up, and I was able to achieve you know a $500,000 unsecured line of credit my first time out of the gate with my first bank. So that really put me in a position to change the game that I'm executing to change my retirement strategy. Um, and in fact, I actually used the line of credit recently for the first time. So it put me into a million dollar asset that I would not have been able to secure. And, and in fact, the bank, I was putting Listen. all the documentation together and they called me and said, okay, we're done. And I said, don't you want the paperwork? And they said, no, your credit score is fine. Um, in fact, it's unusually fine. So we're just gonna give it to you. Um, we don't need any more paper and it'll be an unsecured line of credit. So $500,000 later. No. <laughs> you guys, that is incredible. She, the, she was prepared to do full doc. And because her profile 
was dialed because the 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 paperwork the application and the data that they were pinging was so on point they didn't need any justifications any paperwork and she was a five hundred thousand dollar unsecured stated income uh, uh approval write a check and do a deal how many of you how many of you would like to have something good? that's not always the the the, the case but 20s and 50s and hundreds are regular how many of us yeah, yes Ravel. so how many of you would like to start out at a 20 a 30 or a 50 and grow it to 100 give me a hell yes if you would like to even if you can't get the 500 where you start an automatic limit increase all the way to 100 grand anybody yes Absolutely. Edna and Ravel and Blaine and Carol. Hell yes. Hell, hell yes. All right. Here's the thing. If a result like Teresa's could change everything for you, it changes everything, right? But Teresa is not alone in getting these results. We've helped real estate investors just like you in the last five years alone, over 220 million in approvals. And even during the shutdown and COVID, when those banking, when those banking approvals targets got tiny, 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 we had over 60 million in approvals for in, in the two years of, of uh, uh, 2020 and 2021. 60 million in these approvals. Now, this process didn't come easy, right? And the good news is because you're here today, you get to cheat and do it the easy way. You get to still nail this down even during the financial stressful times. So I'm going to compress time for you and take all those years of trial and error and share with you exactly what actually works. Now, the first thing you have to do is stop stepping on the credit and funding landmines. The next few minutes, I'm gonna share with you the three biggest, most damaging credit and funding landmines that almost all real estate investors, entrepreneurs, small business owners, all the, the landmines we step on without even knowing. So let's dive into each of those, okay? Whew. Now, if you were in my presentation yesterday, we talked about there's such thing as fake business credit, business credit posers, because what they say about business credit is not actually true. In the credit universe, there are fake credit scores posing like legitimate scores. But guys, they're not. Okay? Intrigued? First of all, there's FICO, gold standard. 90 plus percent of every business, business lending and personal credit decision uses FICO, but there are also FACO scores. So let's, I'm all about definitions so that we're clear. What is a FACO score? It's any score not used by lenders in the credit approval process. I will repeat that. Any credit score that's presented to you publicly by any bank, any, anywhere that isn't a lender score that isn't used in your approval process, that's a FACO score. So which fake score, here's where we pull the rug out, guys. Which fake score is currently deceiving over 100 million borrowers in the United States? 100 million borrowers. Yep, credit karma. Now, if you go to the Credit Karma website or app, you're gonna see that somewhere on that page, it says that these are Vantage 3.0 scores. Vantage is a concoction of the two credit bureaus, TransUnion and Equifax, and they made up their own score so they wouldn't have to buy FICO scores to give to you on the website. Here is the bait and switch. This is the worst possible thing, you guys. When you look at those two scores, notice there's not three because Experian exclusively uses FICO. 
the lender score. But you see those two scores on the website. I would send you there, but I don't want you to get discouraged. Then if you notice, they always, right next to the scores, they always have an offer for you. Do they not? They always have an offer. And you think, oh, well, my scores are pushing this particular offer. Guess what? If you click on apply, they're going to pull a FICO score. They're not going to use the two scores here uh, that, that Credit Karma publishes. They will use a FICO score because FICO is in charge of, is used in the approval process, you guys. Complete bait and switch. And they get away with it because way down on page seven, there's a disclaimer saying, these may not be the same scores that lenders use. It's complete BS, you guys. And I would use way stronger language, but it's early Saturday morning. All right, or at least for me. That's not okay. These fake scores, and there are studies that compare FICO scores for the same borrower as, as and it's 62 point difference between, and Credit Karma scores are generally 40 to 60 point higher than your actual FICO scores. It is not okay, you guys. And But Credit Karma is not alone. All of these things you see here are fake scores. There are many others who use our lack of borrower education to take advantage of you. This is why we are prey. Because we don't know just the little simple things. Think of it this way. Yes, think of Credit Karma versus FICO. You're playing a basketball game. You don't know where the scoreboard is. So some rando in the middle of the bleachers holds up a three-digit thing and said, this is the score. And we believe it because we don't know where to look. Am I, tell me, are you getting this? Tell me yes, if this is making sense. Are you getting what I'm saying here? One simple piece of information and your entire fundability world changes, you guys, right? So um, we'll, we'll take questions. We'll take some of the good questions that are coming in here, all right? So they're not alone. The only place, the only legitimate source for all credit scores your lenders use leads us to is myfico.com. Go to myfico.com. If you're paying for for um, if you're paying for uh, 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 for credit monitoring, make sure you're paying for myfico. It has 31 lender scores. Yes, there are 31. 31 lender scores, you guys. All right. Now this leads us exactly to my, the, our second insider secret. Now I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But we've all been lied to because it's not about your approvals are not about your credit score. That's why we talk about fundability. Are you fundable or not fundable? For example, let me tell you this. Robert, these were his scores. Some of us would kill for his scores. But he came to us because he had been denied multiple times for a business line of credit. No lender would lend to him. But here's the magic. Hey, Hear what I'm saying, you guys. Here's the magic. When we got under the hood of his profile, he had one $5,000 credit yard card from a credit union and a Lowe's account, a Best Buy, and a Home Depot. You can tell he was a real estate investor, right? That was his credit profile. His 845, 850 scores, these scores were based on this profile. Now, there's what's called peer lending. Meaning a high credit score just means you get more of what you already got. Are you hearing me? A high credit score just means you get more of what you've already got. That means that he can go to any mall store or any online bank and get approved. But he will never ever, 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 ever in the history or future of the universe, will he get a $50,000 business line of credit based on his Home Depot reputation? Tell me you guys are getting this. Tell me, tell me you are getting this. Is this making sense? If he had three or four 
a powerful tier one accounts that were all 10, 20, $30,000 on his personal profile, then chase over in business is going to look at that profile and go, you got it, baby. I will give you a $50,000 line of credit because I know you take good care of Wells Fargo. So I'll get in on that party. Are you guys getting this? We have to understand this or we're not going uh, we are not going to move forward together, all right? We've got to understand fundability is not credit score. Credit scores alone are not going to get you approval. Think of it this way. Think of it this way. Credit scores are used as a threshold. Think of it as barely make it. Let's pretend the threshold is 720. Every lender has a different threshold. So hear what I'm saying. But let's pretend that it's 720. If you don't have a 720 on the credit bureau report, a FICO credit score of 720, you get denied. That hap can happen in 30 seconds. If you don't have the threshold, you get denied. But hear me, it doesn't matter if you have a 721 or an 821 after that. They don't look at your credit score after you hit that minimum threshold. Tell me you guys understand. Tell me you guys, yes. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? This is so vital because it's such a game changer. You, it doesn't matter if you have a 721 or an 821, they're going to look at something else. And we'll get into that in just a a moment. They're going to do something. They measure something else, you guys. So credit scores are used after you're approved to determine rate and term and the approval amount. So a 721 gets you 5K. An 821 gets you 30K. With me? It And it gets you a 16% um, uh, you get a you get a 22% at 721, and you get a 18% at 821. The rate and term and the amount are how the credit score is used after you are after you meet the the baseline thresholds. Your fundability is what gets you approved, and over 90% of all personal and business credit approvals rely on the data from one company. And again, that's FICO. Now, here's what's fascinating, you guys. Why should this even matter to you? Yes. Meryl, your, your audio has gone out, bud. I don't know if your microphone stopped working or what, but your, your audio, you're, we're not hearing you anymore. Sounds like your microphone's not working. All right, how's that sound? That's better. Yeah, there you go. I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use my global audio. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's go back. We're still sharing, right? All right. There we are. Yeah, insider secret number three. Yep. Yeah. So, so I have a seat at the table, and if I have a seat at the table, that means you have a seat at the table. Everything that I learn. All these little tidbits I learned from FICO and from the underwriting teams they introduced me to. When I say underwriting teams, I'm talking about the credit union underwriting teams, tier two banks and tier one banks, City, Chase, Wells. They tell us and I attend symposiums where they're discussing these very underwriting criteria, you guys. So if approvals are all about your fundability, then what is your fundability based on? That takes us to our third secret. The right borrower behaviors get you approved. Your borrower behaviors get you approved. So remember that target. These are prey approvals. Not knowing the right borrower behaviors gets you high interest rates and low approval amounts right? Not knowing the right borrowing behaviors gets you no approvals and lowered limits and lower and closed accounts during financially stressful times. What we want are partner approvals. 
Knowing the right borrower behaviors gets you the low interest rates and the high amount that is symbolized by this slide. And knowing the right borrower behaviors keeps us in play. That's why my that's why my tribe got over $60 million in fundings during COVID because their borrower behaviors were dialed. They were the ideal customer for the banks. Banks who only make money when they lend. They're looking for ideal customers to lend to. Those, uh, those people being the borrowers that are being trusted with their money during financially stressful times look like this. So what borrower behaviors make you fundable? Is it okay if I share with you guys the fundable behaviors? Would that be okay? Can I can I over deliver and show you fundable behaviors? <laughs> How, okay, I got it. Come on, I got to tease you a little bit because this stuff is amazing for me. There are forty borrower behaviors. Only ten measure derogatory listings. That means there are thirty ways to improve your fundability even if you have derogatory listings for example now this list is not conclusive but check this out it says too many accounts with balances so they're measuring so what is the best number of accounts with balances right this one says the amount owed on revolving accounts is too high call that a a a, a um, utilization, call it debt to, to debt to limit ratios, right? Another one is the number of established accounts. You can have too few accounts or you can have too many accounts. So here's part of my over delivery because this we, we have not got time today to go over every one of these in detail. But how about I not only give you go to getfundablebehaviors.com, tell me where to send it. I will send you. I'll not only give you the 40 borrower behaviors that FICO uses, but I'll give you the pool of 150 borrower behaviors that FICO and lenders draw from when they build their underwriting software. Go to getfundablebehaviors.com. In a minute, I'll even share with you not just what the borrower behaviors are, but how to optimize them to become fundable. Okay? Guys. Knowledge is power. Applied knowledge is a superpower. When you have the right borrower behaviors and the right borrower profile, it's easy to get cash, money, business loans, write a check, do a deal, lines of credit. FICO software goes up to a million dollars in unsecured stated income true business credit. None of these instruments we're talking about. Report to your personal profile, which is what is so damaging about what we talked about yesterday, okay? Over 220 approvals, 220 million in approvals. Whoo! Type yes if you learned something new here today with me. Just give me, just give me a yes, a hell yes, a, a WTF yes, <laughs> whatever, whatever feels right to you. We got Allison and RJ, Ravel, Blaine, right? You guys, Edna. So let me ask you a question. Is it okay if I share something special that I created just for you because you joined me here at, at Scott's uh, Note Camp, right? Would it be all right if I said that? Uh, there we go. Thanks, guys, uh, for the hands. Now, I have also been, I've, I've been accused of being a fire hose. Admit it. Don't be shy. Does it feel like there's a lot of intel coming at you? And literally, we've been at this for 45 minutes. So much intel, right? So what I'd like to do then is help you imagine what one or two, uh, let me just ask this question. If you had one $100,000 credit line, write a check, do a deal, charge it up, pay it off, charge it up, pay it off. If you only had one, how much money could you make with one $100,000 credit line? Just type it in there. Just type it in there. 
How much could you turn that in one year? Just, just one, not 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. Let's just lowball this thing. Let's not be Teresa's one, 100,000. Type it out for me. What could you turn that? What kind of profit could you make for with one $100,000 profit? 150K says, uh, says Sam, G give it to me. Depends on what the interest rate is. The, the interest rate is going to be prime plus 0.75 to 1%. So six, seven, eight, depending on where the interest rates go. But here's the thing, 30,000 says Blaine. Because here's the thing. You get to keep the interest rate, their variable rates. The interest rate's going to go down as the economy I mean, strengthens. So do you want the line or not? You don't have to use it if the money's too expensive. But the question is, we need the money now because we're in a position to slingshot using the, this recession to actually improve our positions. Conservatively, 20K. Thanks for about 20K. Absolutely. So for those of you who are ready to take things to the next level, I'm introducing you to my online business funding master course. This is something that I'm crazy, crazy proud of because it represents 30 plus years of my knowledge and strategies brought into one place. And as I said yesterday, for those of you who are here, I'm my own crash test dummy. You know, the mannequin that has all the impact zone stickers all over it? Uh, it I was teased once that fi my financial guardian angels are tattered and torn because of how much I have sought to push the envelope to bring the, to make this process successful and then bring it, bring it to you. Well, I've been a crash test dummy at every step and I found out what worked before I bring it to you. And that's what's created my 2.4 million so far, 2.4 million in fundings. These business fundings don't even include my real estate. Okay, so I'm not telling you this to brag. I'm not, I, I'm not trying to, to be a braggart here. I'm just showing what I've done and what is possible. And what I've done is possible for you to do as well. This course includes the tools and strategies I've used to create and master lifelong fundability. I've been doing this for 30 years. Think of this business funding master course as the collected works of Merrill Chandler. I don't want to put myself next to some of the other great collected works, guys, Shakespeare. Um, but holy hell, this is everything that I have come to to give you guys what you need to become fundable. This course is all about helping you get the money you need to grow your business the way you want to, however you want to expand it. Get access to that huge pool of the cheapest money out there. So somebody asked, uh, what's the interest rate? Does it matter if it's the cheapest money on the planet? Because it will be. It always is the cheapest money on the planet. We need to get it, it we need to get approved and get in there so that when the rates come down, the profits increase even more. You're not losing deals because of not having money, and you're not giving away your profits to expensive hard money or private money lenders right? So what you're going to get is the business funding system. My business funding system is the exact set of tools that I use to get that 2.4 million in fundings. And these strategies are specifically designed to get you from where you are now. I don't care if you have, if you're not fundable, it will show you how to become fundable, both in your business and in your personal life. Get the personal approvals as fast as possible. Now, don't take my word for it. Listen to, listen to Robert. Once again, just another example. I've got dozens of these. Since starting with the program, my personal credit score has gone up over 150 points. One of the things that I was absolutely astonished by was how easy it was when I walked into the bank and just asked for a sizable line of credit and it was the easiest application to fill out and it was the least amount of hassle and interrogation i provided absolutely no documentation and i was able to two or three days later get you know a confirmation that they had approved the lines of credit for both of them 
I could not believe it, Merrill. I couldn't believe it. I'm sitting there. The guy pops up on the computer as he's, you know, entering the data. And he's like, uh, you qualify for a $20,000 line of uh, cr um, credit card, a business credit card. I said, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. He said, there's no credit polls. There's no way. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Then he goes a little bit further. Um, they're saying that you qualify for up to a hundred thousand dollar line of credit. Would you like to do that? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Next thing you know, fifty thousand dollars they approved. That's awesome. That day that they pulled the credit, they use Experian. My Experian credit score that day was eight forty eight. <laughs> There it is. It was like perfect. You guys. And he's not alone. Again, a dozens of examples of individuals uh, that have uh, sitting in very seats that you're sitting in right now. It's the it's the reality of every single entrepreneur who has who has done this course. And it's very simple. It works for real estate investors, business owners, uh, 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 entrepreneurs. It doesn't matter what you call it, great credit, bad credit, anything in between. We look at you at, from the standpoint of fundability and it will get you the best rates, the best terms and the highest approval amounts. Now, it, it rips my heart out when I know every once in a while someone will say, I don't have time to do this. And I'm like, if you're thinking this, then I felt that way once before as well. What I found is that no, law, no matter how long it takes, it's always better to be fundable than to not be fundable and not have any resources when you need it, right? I can't tell you the number of people who've come up to me at, at conferences or whatever, and like, I met you two to three years ago, and I wish I would have started then, right? Knowledge is a super, knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is a superpower so we need to make sure that we get it done the business funding system is three thousand nine hundred ninety four dollars in, in, in retail price but you're also going to get the advanced entity secrets now we we refer to this go back and watch the other program that my my business um myths because the the advanced entity secrets talks about how to shape your business your, the, there are words in the name of your business that make you unfundable automatically. Those, the name, the words in your business name link to business codes, which make you unfundable. Go listen to the secrets that we talked about yesterday. I haven't got time to do it today, but you, you can be automatically killed in your, in your funding attempts just by the type of business that you're in. This solves that challenge, right? Now, Advanced Entity Secrets, $997. So total value is $4,091, uh, but I want to make sure you also get the Personal Fundability Fitness Program. So yesterday we talked about business. Today we're talking about your personal fundability. This fundability, uh, and why am I including this one? Well, because 80% of all business approvals rely on your personal credit profile, what we learned yesterday. There are people out there teaching that you can get credit just on your EIN with no personal guarantee. And yes, you can. If you want gas cards, Uline janitorial supplies, or a, a Staples office account. But since 2008, EIN and non-personal guarantees do not exist any longer for bank credit cards bank loans and bank lines of credit. So you've got to make sure you have the credit that lets you do everything you want in notes and real estate and other entrepreneurial endeavors, right? Personal Fundability Fitness, $3,994 and total value, $8,985. Now, I also want to make sure that you know how to keep money in your pocket. Advanced financing secrets, it, it builds on the fundability fitness and shows you strategies that keeps 
stops you from losing thousands and thousands of dollars when you buy a car, when you buy a home, engaging in your business credit. These strategies keep the money in your pocket and not giving it to other people. One strategy alone, I show you exactly how to create, uh, how to save at least $5,000 off of every single auto loan you do for the rest of your life. At least $5,000 alone. And these financing secrets are worth $997. So what you're going to get is the business funding system, advanced entity secrets, personal fundability fitness program, and advanced financing secrets, total value $9,982. But one of the top three questions I always get over the years is, is there an easy way to do this? And Here's the thing, you guys, just on a personal on a personal note, my mantra for my business, my personal life, my relationships is simple, elegant, and effortless. I just want simplicity, elegance, and effort, uh, effortlessness, right? So here's your easy button. You also get this tool, Business Fundability Accelerator. It is the step-by-step, -step, every little tiny thing that you need in order to of how to do it. I know there's some trainers out there, lots of people tell you what needs to be done, but they fail to tell you how to do it. This tool lays it out for you step-by-step. Step-by-step, it's exactly what you need for how to get this done. And it's gonna help you get rid of the fear and anxiety around submitting applications. Get, rare, get rid of the doubt while you're waiting for lender's response and that uncertainty of getting approved. What's awesome is with this course, your funding problem is solved and you'll be getting approved for the best loans and lines of credit. You'll become that lender partner and no longer their prey. Now, I take 30 years of expertise, my trial and error, and I shrink those decades into, into days with the system made up of only the things that work. I'm not playing with, hey, try this, try this. This is the stuff that put 2.4 million in my pocket and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars into hundreds and hundreds of my clients and tribes, uh, members of my tribe. The funding, uh, uh, the business of fundability accelerator is worth every penny of $9,173. But the total value is $19,000, right? And so my partner, Brad, was on a call with Tony Robbins the other day. And Tony was talking that winter isn't coming anymore. Winter is here. Winter is here. And like Tony, I've been telling my tribe that winter is coming a couple of years ago. And I created a course to give to get you prepared for when winter is here. So I'm giving you the financial survival bundle. Because it's not too late for you to take action, you guys. This course includes every strategy I presented on preparing for, surviving, and thriving during times of personal and national financial distress. This coursework, I, 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 I fine-tuned when COVID was starting. And it's the very coursework that helped my clients and members of my tribe create that $60 million in approvals during COVID. Now, some of these strategies you will learn in this course are the exact strategies used by Fortune 500 CEOs to, to prepare entire massive organizations for a slowdown or for a recession or for financial stress. And they're applicable to every single one of us sitting here today, every real estate entrepreneur just like you. So the financial survival bundle is 22788 and the total value is $21,943. Now, I'm not going to charge you $21,943, but if I did charge you that, if all it did was show you exactly how to stop stepping on the landmines that are blowing up your funding chances right now, would it be worth it to you? I mean, guys, think about it. In your mind, 
Has anybody lost more than $21,000 in opportunities? Anybody? I'm raising my hand because I've lost way more than $21,000. But Ravel says, yes. So it's you and me. It's you and me, Ravel. I have, because I, there we go. There's Steven. We have lost because we don't, didn't know how to play the game. I'm just a few steps ahead of you with funding approvals. And I have the ear of FICO. And because the, my mouth to, to FICO God's ear, we now know what it takes to become fundable. Okay. Fundable. Now, if you had an extra 50,000, 100,000, or even 150,000, would you be able to move your business to the next level? Of course, it would be worth $21,943. And finally, if you were able to get the money you need, there is no question that this course is worth it. So our normal discount would be to drop the price to $3,997. But because you've invested your time into this credit, this, this course with me, and you're committed to waking up to the truth, I want to remove price as a reason not to do it. So I'm giving you a massive saving. And because you're part of Note Camp, it's $497. And that is, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna best myself even one more time. I also want to make this risk-free and take money completely out of the equation. If this doesn't help you get the money you need to grow your business the way you want to and get access to the huge pool of cheapest money out there and stop losing deals because of not having money and stop giving away profit to expensive hard money or private money lenders, I give you, I'll give you your money back 100%, no questions asked. The point is, is that I haven't had a, a single person who has just literally watch the coursework and not change their entire life. So I have no problem offering you a risk-free money back guarantee, none whatsoever. So the real question is, is it worth a few minutes of your time to just check this out? Because even if it does only half of what I've claimed today, it will pay for itself five, 10, 20 times over maybe even in the first 90 days. So I put everything in this course and I'm feeling really good about it, right? And I go to my team and I go, guys, I want you to poke holes in it. Is there anywhere where somebody could fail? And the one thing that kept coming up was support. That even with all the killer tutorials, all the videos, the step-by-step, -step, literally guide on how to do websites, everything from, from talking to the secretary of state about your business, everything you're talking about, all the, all the things. Being able to ask questions live is priceless. Now, there's no way I'm going to leave you to do it on your own without support. So I'm giving you a special members-only bonus. What this is, is a weekly access to me, twice a week, funding hackers to help you implement fundability strategies. Lifetime access to the Funding Hackers private Facebook group, Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. Insider secrets to the money game, the credit game eBooks, and access to the ultimate fundability video library, which addresses every single possible, you would not believe how many specific answers to questions that we have called over, over 30 live boot camps are all here ready for you. So normally the value is worth $1,743 plus $149 per month. But because we're here, you get it for $29.99 per month. Funding Hackers Q&A is where I answer your questions about your specific situation. Now, I'm one of the lucky ones that gets to charge $5,000 for an hour of coaching. I've transformed in an hour, transformed people's trajectory on their business by knowing which levers and switches to pull and push. 
So to have two hours of Q&A with me per week for $29.99 is one of the greatest gifts I can give you and the highest way that I can serve you. So you get the business funding system, advanced entity secrets, a personal fundability fitness program, financing secrets, business fundability accelerator, financial survival bundle, and the special members only access for $29.99 a month, total value of $23,686. And as we said, all it is is $4.97 plus $29.99 a month. If, if you're not getting value out of attending those, you can cancel at any time and you keep access to lifetime access to your entire course. Woo! Let's uh, take questions. Anybody? I know there's a bunch of questions going on up there. I I couldn't keep up with them, so maybe. No, yes. you're good. You mean for AK a session, Ravel? Yes, the recession is coming. <laughs> okay. Question for you from somebody says: This work if you have too many credit cards and they are almost totally maxed out. I can't pay them off at this time. Yes. Here, here's the point: is that what what it does? It gives you the principles. Do you realize that there is uh, that there is software forthcoming that is going to give you a pay down schedule so that you can pay off the most fundable credit cards first, second, third, fourth, and we can and in the funding hackers I can address which ones to pay off first. What you're getting is access, not just all the all of the intel of how to build fundability but access to me and my team twice a week live to be able to talk about your particular situation. Good question. TS, so basically you're saying those business credit systems where they showed you how to get all kinds of business credit without personal guarantees are all gone away because the banks aren't going for that anymore? Well, that no, they're still there. But if you, if you want a gas card, I have not met in my 30 years I have not met a single person who has gone through the business credit building system that has a Wells Fargo Chase, uh, a, a tier one or tier two bank credit card, much less a credit line or loan. Those are completely different universes. So if you want a Uline account or a fleet gas card or even a Staples card on your that doesn't have your, your social security number on it, then go for it. But you're never going to get a bank credit card, business credit card, or a bank credit line. Does not happen, does not exist. That is correct. So yes, all credit is not created equal, everybody, is what Merrill's <laughs> saying. You can have good, good stuff for credit, or you can have shit for credit. <laughs> from from yeah. shitty credit. Yeah, get credit. It just ain't going to help you in the long run in a lot of cases. Uh, what Melanie, about thank you so much, Melanie. Look, Mel, I didn't, I didn't even know you're here, Melanie. What a sweetheart. Melanie is a recent, a recent um, uh, uh, addition to the Funding Hackers tribe, and we have so much fun, right? You get to ask your questions, and you get to learn what everybody else's journey looks like as well, right, Melanie? So, oh, and Diametric, yeah, how are you guys? Yep, it's true. It's true. Don't listen to me. Listen to them. Right. Oh, by the way, if you go to getfundablewcn.com, getfundablewcn.com, you're just read the reviews. Folks, just like you who've gone through the course and are like, are you kidding me? This is the, some are even saying, I say this humbly, it would be arrogant if it weren't true. They're saying it's the greatest business course they've ever attended and they're an MBA. I'll take it. I take it. I tell you, I say it all the time. Uh, Ravel asked a question or says, my bank told me my LLC has to be seasoned for two years to get uh, business credit. Is that true? No, to get business, to get a business line of credit, not to get business cards there and not to necessarily get a business loan, but to get a credit line. Yes. Uh, there, there are workarounds there as well. Yeah. Amos says, I recently ruined my 5K business line of credit with Wells Fargo. Is there still hope for me? Um, yes, there is. It's going to probably be a longer haul. You may have to 
Uh, is that business line of credit now reporting negatively on your personal profile? That's what we need to know, Amos. Mm -hmm. And that's it's a great thing. Small. If you sit down, one of the great things is going through a person's profile to find the things that are errors and ways. And you told me a long time ago, Meryl, there's roughly 40 plus items that credit bureaus are looking at. Most of the yep. lenders are only worried with what eight of those, or, or only eight of them yeah. are, are bad facing. Yeah. 32 10, are only 10 deal with derogatory accounts, 30 deal with positive accounts. So you can overwhelm your negative accounts with positive results. There you go. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Let's see here. Y yes, it is. Then, it's yeah, 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 I owe 1300. So, so we got a hole to climb out of, but I help, I help people climb out of those holes all the time. So this course is going to get you in play every step of the way on how to establish it. And then how do we recuperate and build a fundable entity that, that uh, um, if not Wells Fargo yet, we can establish reputation with others. Can you talk a little bit about FICA versus FICA? Because somebody's asked a question, what about the scores that credit cards show you? How accurate are those scores? Okay. So you, what you need to look at is uh, Chase right now, Chase is similar to um, their credit journey scores are actually FACO scores. They're the Vantage 3 scores. So, but if they pull credit on you, they pull FICO. It's just that the Vantage scores cost less money for them to be able to give to you for free. It's costing the bank money to do so. FICO is a little more expensive than Vantage. So, uh, so um, Chase is doing the exact same thing the FICO, um, that, um, that Credit Karma does. Now, they're, they're, you're going to learn this in the course. There's a whole section, you guys, in the course that separate what are called review scores. That's what you're getting from the bank. Review scores are the scores they pull when they do a soft pull. Those are versus hard pulls, and those are approval scores. So you're in the course. This alone is worth the course. Separate out when they use these scores that you're referring to, the bank gives you, they also do them, they use those same scores for reviews or for, for account reviews and for soft pulls. They are different scores. That's why I said myfico.com has 31 scores. I walk you through every single one of those scores, what they mean, who, who uses them, and when they get used. Perfect. Good stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a different thing. I mean, you could sit here and look at FACO scores, but they're not going to be actual score, score scores. Yeah. Yeah. Timmy says, that's my favorite part on something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you've gone through that. You guys, I mean, several banks, uh, see here, several banks, credit users give FICO scores. Are they accurate? Yeah, I think you okay. just answered that, Sam. I just answered that, uh, uh, Sam. They're accurate, but they're review scores. They're soft pull scores. They're not a, those scores that that review scores are not used to approve you. Approval scores are used to approve you. So once again, they're giving, they're dangling. They're still FICO scores, but they're not used in the approval process. So your actual auto score or credit card score or mortgage score may be different than what you're reading in what the bank gives you for free. No, one of the so great things accurate, they're accurate, but what are they measuring? We have to know what they're measuring, and that's what's in the course, you guys. Is every and that's what that's what Diametric saying is that the favorite part is understanding now you know the entire roadmap. What let I even show you a uh, 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 witness for me, Diametric. I even show you how to bet a bank to determine what bureau they use and what credit score they use. One thing I know for sure, yep. Meryl, one thing I really know for sure is that A, we've all going to be investors a long time, and B, credit isn't going anywhere. This is something we're going to be using for our yeah. lives. You yeah. would rather, it, and one of the greatest comments you said is building a foundation. Many people talked about that. Look, I don't care where you've been. We've all had goofy things happen, bad credit cards, that college experience of signing up for a t-shirt to get a credit, you know, for credit, or getting it, signing for a credit card to get a t-shirt, let's just... Thank God they don't do that anymore. But you're going to use your credit going long term, not just a, a day, a month, a year. Right. Why wouldn't you spend time now to help make sure that you spend the least amount on interest, you get the best rates, the best secrets. Mayor literally at the beginning of the year here was 
discovered over 300 falsehood, credit miss falsehoods, things that people were saying yeah. and publishing this stuff. You've got the credit besides somebody who is nobody else is showing up at FICO world. Nobody no. else is going to, if you want to have a secret agent, you got your secret agent. You got 007. Okay. All right. Right here. You yeah. got the James Bond to help you crack the code on getting better rates, saving thousands and thousands of dollars on your mortgages, your, your, your car loans and helping you get those lines of credit. Like you said, so you guys could be flipping a hundred grand or 20 grand in every, you know, three, four times a year, you know, yeah, you some of you guys, you know, and a lot of you guys are letting what happened, something that happened in the past affect you from being smart to correct those things. All right. Yeah. It, it's all, it's time. We solved for all of that. We solved. Yep. We. Exactly. I show you how a, a, a it one of the one of the uh, master classes that's in the course literally shows you how to. It's in the survival master class. Um, how a, a, a an account that paid is agreed, how it degrades into a late, how severe the lates are, how to interpret those, what happens to your score, how it goes to collections, internal collections, external collections, and goes into judgment or and what to do about it. All of it is covered in there. So you even know if you're going sideways, you know what to expect and you're not afraid because you got you can come on Tuesdays and Thursdays and ask me about it. Yep. That's one of the most valuable things out there is being able to touch base on a regular basis and help somebody hold your hand, have somebody hold your hand through your financial journey on that for you. Um, can you, once you get the credit, can you use it to pay yourself back from business or investment expenses? Absolutely. Uh, Adrian, perfect. So I have there, one of the, uh, one of, in the entity secrets section, I literally go through how to build a fundable entity and then how to borrow money in the fundable entity and fund your deals. All of it's in there. CPA certified, tax specialist certified. This is an amazing strategy all by itself. When you go through it, you're going to be like, this is worth every penny that I paid just to know how to set up a fundable entity. So you can do exactly what you just said in your question. I, I got to share a strategy that you shared with me has made a big impact. It's a, it's amazing strategy here. Okay. Of taking a mortgage, one of the non-performing notes, owner financing myself it and re, have it go into servicing and having the servicing company report to credit on a note that we hold ourselves on a property. We took back, we financed that, put it in there. Boom. That was a phenomenal strategy that we absolutely love. And it's just because you're, you're one of the biggest heavy hitters isn't just credit cards. It's your, if your mortgage is on time, you know what I mean? Yep. And, yep. yep. you know, you over and over and over again. Yeah, you right. can learn, you can learn it in, you learn it in the Ravel. Trust me. Look here. Okay. For example, I haven't had traditional financing on a house in years. All right. Cause of the investor aspect of things. Yeah. I have a property. We took a property back. We put a mortgage on it. We am paying myself monthly. The month, monthly payment goes to the servicer. Server pay, pays me. It goes to inverse asset fund. Inverse asset fund pays Scott Carson back. But that payment each month now shows a mortgage payment on time. It shows how much that mortgage, you know, yeah. it, it could show that, oh, you only owe a uh, hundred grand on a $200,000 house. So that boosts my credit score up exactly. dramatically. Absolutely. Uh, you guys, all of this. We have so many powerful um, strategies that are in there. I only have, seriously, I only have an hour and change, right? And and Scott was so generous. He gave me two hour and change. Uh, and it just, just, just get it. Holy hell. There's this, no is, th it. this is what this separates is the, this is what separates the boys from the men or the girls from the ladies, everybody is, is the wealthy know how to leverage credit. They know how to use credit. To build wealth. This is one of the most wealth building classes that you will ever take in the long run for you in a variety of ways. Being able to walk in, be able to have that line of credit, to be able to act upon the deals that are available to all of us right now. You've got to have that capital. And you, this is one of the biggest building blocks that you can do. Um, and it, I, this is why we say lawful and associates having the asset protection and then get fundable to help you get your business yeah. business and personal and everything hunky-dory, rock and roll, so you can use it long-term for you. We'll set you a start from everybody else. So long-term. Cool. All right. 
take that screenshot of uh, sky drop that uh, drop that in there one more time um just get fundable wcn and we are it's been amazing thank you scott so much thank you guys you've been a great audience super participative super participatory and um you have a amazing rest of your note camp great thanks meryl